I am the race. Uh, thank you. So that is. May, may I go back to my 13.9 billion peso question? May I go back to my 5 billion peso question? Your Honor, we are not getting the report, Your Honor. It will. Uh, how should we be here? It's coming, Your Honor, from midnight. I just cannot uh, say exactly how many minutes it will be here, Your Honor. But it will, Your Honor. But it says in your report, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, that uh, uh, these are the special road support funds which were not done in accordance with the procedures prescribed in the road board operating manual. Is that correct? That's correct, Your Honor. That's correct. Mr. Chairman, I don't want to delay the proceedings. But uh, I think I deserve uh, an answer to my five billion uh, based on question at the proper time. I'm willing to wait, uh, but in the meantime, the other members can propound the questions. But I, I do hope that uh, within this session, it's forthcoming answers going to be provided to this committee verbally and in writing. Before the plenary, would you want that? Uh, no, sir. Uh, I would like to take this session. Okay. Okay. It's already for Okay. Thank you very much. So let's proceed. Sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, good morning, my dear colleagues, and uh, good morning to the uh, distinguished chairman of the uh, Commission on Audit and all the members of the family of COA. Very pleasant morning. First of all, let me uh, congratulate you on your performances. Uh, all we uh, have to say is uh, I know very well that uh, you did achieve a lot, but maybe we just don't know most of them. No? So my first inquiry, Mr. Chairman, is uh, me we know, especially on your regular audit on uh, local government, the provinces. How many provinces more or less have you found out some anomalies of irregularities? Can you, can you name the provinces? <laughs> Will I will it uh, surprise your honor for us to reach a report uh, or the university? Well, uh, I would appreciate that. But but maybe the committee would also be interested. Maybe you can submit it through the chairman of the committee. Because, uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, I'm just interested. Even during our campaign, uh, there was personally report to me by some barangay officials that. In their barangay, they have found out many reported projects which doesn't exist. One barangay captain, or there are two or more, reported to me that uh, Congressman Oh, you know, here in my barangay it was reported that the uh, province have uh, given us a uh, barangay states and also some drainage in our barangay. But I would like to show you that we don't have that estates. And I would like to show you that we don't have that drainage. I said, how do you know that uh, you have that uh, barangay? He said, here it is reported in the report of the province that they have donated to us the barangay estates, barangay drainage. So may we know uh, if through COA you have found out such anomalies which we commonly known as ghost projects. No. That's just precisely what I'm driving up, Mr. Chairman. Yes, we have, Your Honor, but uh, as to what the different guys, uh, we have found uh, because we have established that uh, the projects that were closed, we will we cannot get at this point in time we need to determine which paradigm is which profit, but if you will be very particular about it, Your Honor, we can do that. Well, uh, Mr. Chairman and uh, Honorable Chairman of COA, Maybe it's very easy. I'm trying to find out in my province. Because uh, the Barangay Captain definitely is in my province. Uh, particularly, this might be parochial concern. But I think if it's happening in my province, 
definitely could happen in other provinces, especially during election period. There have been some reports that some barangay official will give in 200,000 for a certain project, but actually no project existed. And it went just to the pocket of the barangay officials or uh, sharing with the provincial officials. Now that the barangay election will be forthcoming, I hope Goa will be very strict on this. And maybe the best, uh, I, I may ask Mr. Chairman if the procedure of uh, the Goa office, you go, of course, on ocular inspection also, right? Yes, I'm very glad to hear that. And uh, my second question, Mr. Chairman, is on the pre audit When you have I, I, I would like to comment on the savings that COA office had uh, given to the government due to this pre-audit, which uh, I heard around more than 300 million plus, and that's a lot of savings for the government. And I would encourage the procedure to, to go as it is, considering the achievement. And now, my question on this pre-audit, uh, Mr. Chairman, is if you have already pre-audited on, on certain expenses, do you still go on post-auditing them on that particular pre-audited uh, uh, expenses already? Yes, we do. We still do. After, after the pre-audit? After, after approving the pre-audit or those that were not approved or both? No, we, we do. Pre-audit and post-audit is in many parts. On pre-audit, it has been a past in audit. You know. We still want that post-audit for the verification. <laughs> okay. So in the case of post-audit, on the pre-audited uh, transaction, you are auditing your own uh, audited uh, conclusion already. Because you have pre-audited it already, then you will again do the post-auditing as if you are auditing what you have pre-audited, am I correct? No, that is, we have, we have to trace the books of account. You, you have to? The books of account. The total transaction. If they have been recorded in the books. You know. Because not all pre-audited pre transactions are recorded right away in the books. You know. Oh. So there are transactions that have not been pre-audited? Those have been pre-audited but not yet recorded. Some, you know. Okay. Well, thank you for the clarification. Well, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman 